Says, Del Bucket, and he'll tell you all about himself himself. There you go, thank you. <laughs> guys, I have nothing but respect for you guys. Absolutely respect. You too. I just want you to know that. Because this is brutal. <laughs> this is brutal. Okay, so, anybody just take a deep breath? Yes. <sighs> so I'm a long way from home, long way from home. And I'm not really used to the, 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 the uh, big city. Not used to all the loudness. It's like, my gosh, if we were, I look, we were going on the French Street. My gosh, it was like two o'clock in the morning, and there's still like, there's all this noise going on. Oh yeah. <coughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm living off grid, man. I'm just like, I got chickens like half a mile away, and that's the loudest thing I hear, right? So, <coughs> so that being said, I just like to, and I'm a quiet person. I know you probably don't believe that, but it's true. It's, it's true. I'm a quiet person, so. Thank you. 
and it really sucks because the, the entire town is like overrun, and so like the locals, you know, we're like, run for the hills, he's <laughs> coming to town. So, no, but the reason why I chose this guitar wasn't for, for that or for the story, is because it sounds like crap. <laughs> Again, it's all about the struggle, right? It's all about the struggle, making a piece of crap sound like a little bit less of a piece of crap. <laughs> so, um, uh, so if it sounds like crap, then I've succeeded. <laughs> because curse is not the right word, but I've been blessed with a good ear to the point where I hear sour notes and it's just like, ah, ice picks, ice picks, right? And I hear out of tuneness and it's like, ah, ears bleeding and stuff like that. And so, um, so I can be hyper critical and hyper judgmental and hyper, but for me, it's just like, okay, okay, so what are you going to do about it? So I'm going to build the instrument and I'm going to dial that sucker in. I'm going to work on this and I'm going to tweak that and I'm going to file this and I'm going to ah, hone that to get the sound to be what I hear in my mind. And I'm still on that journey. I still have not arrived. Okay. And my heart's beating even just telling you this. Uh, it, for, for me, it's a fight. Every, every guitar is a bloody fight. And, and sometimes the guitar wins. And those ones get hung on the wall. The wall of shame. <laughs> And other, other guitars uh, get purchased by people, and I'm happy to see them go to happy homes. And I trust and I hope that these instruments change per people's lives for the better. That's my hope. 
Other guitars, I keep for myself because I'm so good at <laughs> But what I do is I dial in on what I call intonation. Now, if you're a builder in here, you know what I'm talking about. This saddle here has got to be precisely in the exact, exact sweet spot in order for the harmonics to line up directly over the frets. And if they don't line up directly over the frets, then it's going to sound like, um, it's going to torture you. It's going to, it's going to make you, it's going to make you un uncomfortable, unpleasant sound. But if you can dial it in and get that sound to be exactly right, all the notes. he was going to go meet the Lord. And I was just like, dude. And so, so we have a, we have a Bible study now. We can come every, every Friday. And everybody's just like, dude, you are, you got months to live? Weeks? And he just had joy. And I'm like thinking to myself, dude, that, that, that freaked me out, dude. It really freaked me out. Because, you know, most normal people would be like afraid to die. Afraid of that, you know, transition into the unknown. But he was like so happy. And I was just like, dude. Um, anyhow, so he gave me this neck. And so there's, there's no way I could sell this, right? So I, I said, okay, I'm just going to build an awesome guitar. And so this guitar has meaning to me.
guys, first off, I just want to encourage you guys. N number one, so I'll be 60 years old this is July. I have been a practicing, Bible-believing, spirit-filled Christian for the majority of my life, since I was 21 years old. The longer I live, the longer I live, the more I'm convinced the reality that the Word of God is true. So I want to encourage you guys. I mean, yes, cigar boxer and guitars are important. They're fun. Music is fun. It's exciting. I love it. I wouldn't do it. If there was anything better in life, I would be doing that because I, I, I choose that. But I want to encourage you guys to, to explore the Bible. If you haven't, I would encourage you to like check it out. Read it. Don't just read it for like a, a novel, but to read it to seek to understand it and perhaps apply it. And in the book of Psalm. It's not Psalms, it's Psalm 19. It says, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Verse 10. More to be desired are they than gold. Yea, much more than fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Guys, I, I seriously, man, I, I, if, if, you, if, if I could give you anything, if your takeaway is anything, it's like, Seek the Lord and seek to, to apply Jesus in the Bible, whatever, to your life. And I'm guaranteeing you, guaranteeing you, guaranteeing you. I've seen it over and over and over and over and over again. You will prosper. You will succeed. You will be blessed. You will not be cursed. I can go on and on and on and on, but I won't because I respect you. So I'm going to play one more song. And then, then we're dismissed. <laughs>
What did I say, Steve? John Nickel upstairs, then the Jurors Blues Band, and then Steve Harvey Band. So, if you want to join us, we're going to play. Thank you very much. Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray. Shot, ready? Everybody say what? Keep going, William. Pit crew. Look, pit crew, Del Puckett. New Orleans, heading over. <laughs> 